you ready? I'm ready. So, do you have a lucky charm in your pocket? Uh, not right now. I have no pockets. <laughs> uh, in my bag, no, I have nothing. We have what we normally keep in our bag, but nothing, I would say, is lucky. No, but you do have some superstitions. I have quite a few superstitions. <laughs> Every time when we walk onto the court as a mixed pair, I always put my bag nearest to the umpire chair and then one racket on top of the bag and the bottle facing the same way every time. That is a lucky charm. <laughs> Next question. How do you stay fit apart from badminton? Uh, On-court training and then gym and also some runs and bike, bike sessions, but that's all for badminton. That's Unfortunately, we, have, we train too often to yeah. have to do any other sport. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. Uh, third question. What is your pre-match routine? Pre-match routine is to eat some food uh, around one and a half hours before the match, so not feeling too full on the court. And then around one hour before the match, start doing some stretching and then a very good warm-up. And then we'll start having a hit with each other on the warm-up courts, as long as there are warm-up courts, so that we're nice and ready for the game. Yeah, and the follow-up question of that is, what do you eat before an oh. important match? <laughs> uh, it really depends what time the match is. Normally I have at least a banana kind of around yeah, one and a half hours before. If it's early in the morning, then we'll have like a, a good amount of breakfast. Or sometimes if it's a really late match, then a smaller dinner so it's not feeling too full in the belly. <laughs> okay, question number six. What technique do you train the most? Definitely net shots. As a mixed female, um, that's the most important area for me. As long as Greg is setting me up in the rear court, then yeah, the, the net is the most important. She's very good at net shots. <laughs> Next question. How often do you train serves? Every day. In, in some kind of training aspect, we're, we're practicing our serves every day. Even if it's sometimes it's just standing there and hitting serves over and over again. But then sometimes it's we're doing a routine where it starts with the serve. So it's always in our brain. OK, we need to have a good serve. And when you win matches, what is the first thing you do after you win a match? Celebrate. <laughs> How do you celebrate? Uh, I'm actually not a very big celebrator. So if we win like a big match, then I normally just, yay. Whereas some people will like get down on their knees and run around the hall. Um, but no, after a match, we're normally just you know, focusing straight away now on the next match because it's important you don't get carried away. With the win, you have to refocus and then yeah, get some food to refuel ready for the following match. Exactly. Two more questions. What string do you use? Uh, VBS 68, strung by my stringer who sat right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I moved the mic there. Uh, lastly, what is your favourite food? Oh, we're about to have lunch, so it might get you hungry. Yeah. Uh, that is a really tough question. Now, are we talking breakfast, lunch Just or dinner? What's your uh, I will go a pizza, but specifically a pizza from Naples. Did you say the same? There we go. I didn't. Oh, what did you I say? Think, I can't remember. I oh. think I said steak, but pizza is definitely up there. Yeah. And that concludes our interview. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. <laughs>